Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to easily fix startup failure or boot loop issue in Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7 with blue screen error message says that your PC slash device need to be repaired, followed by one of the following's details. The boot configuration data file doesn't contain valid information data for an operating system. File backslash bcd. Error code, 0xc0000098. Or. The boot configuration data for your PC is missing or contains errors. File backslash boot backslash bcd. Error code, 0xc0000000f. Before starting, we must point out that there are several problems lead to startup failure rather than BCD issue with different solutions, so you must know which problem this video will help you to fix by knowing the error messages and codes associated with the BCD issue. Examples of other blue screen error codes that are related to BCD or boot configuration data issues, 0xc000014c, 0xc000000bb, 0xc000034. Example of other error messages that related to BCD. Your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. The Windows boot configuration data file does not contain a valid OS entry in Windows 7, or the boot configuration data file is missing some required information for an operating system in Windows 8. Also you have to know that in GPT disk computers, the path to BCD will be file backslash EFI backslash Microsoft backslash boot backslash BCD. If you have another error message like inaccessible boot device, you can watch how to fix it in another video from links in video description. Video Contents How to boot into recovery mode with or without CD How to check health status of disks How to repair boot issues in all Windows versions with both MBR and GPT systems Extra Methods Important Notes How to enter the advanced restore options, the menu that used to fix all startup problems or blue screen boot loop issues To open advanced recovery options without installation media, do the following Turn off the computer completely Turn it on again when the Windows logo appears with a circle of dots, press and hold the power key for 8 seconds or until the device turns off completely. Repeat previous two steps until appearance of, preparing automatic repair. The computer is now in the advanced recovery options. To open advanced restore options from Windows installation media such as DVD or USB, do the following. Turn off the computer completely. Connect a Windows installation media. Turn on the computer. Once you see the manufacturer logo, press the F12 or another key from keyboard to open the boot options. This is the list of most common keys to enter the boot menu for different brands. Move to the DVD or the USB and then press the enter button. Press any key to continue. Change the keyboard language to the United States, so that you can type commands and symbols without problems, as happens when choosing the British language or some other languages. Click on the next button, then click on the repair your computer option. There is a video in video description or from notification card will show you how to create a Windows installation media using your Android mobile. How to check health status of disks. Open command prompt. When booting without installation media, you will ask to choose the user profile. If you have more than one profile, select the one with admin access then change the keyboard layout to US. If you have a password for the selected profile, type it and click on continue button, if there is no password, click on continue button directly. Type notepad.exe and hit enter. Click on file and select open option. Click on this PC icon to show all disks and partitions. If you are able to see all your partitions with size, free and used volumes, then the disks and partitions are supposed to be healthy. If the partitions details are not shown like this, execute the following command to fix that, chkdskc, slash f slash r slash x. Replace C, with the letter of Windows partition in your computer. If you still unable to see partition details, try to disconnect the HDD or SSD disk and reconnect it again. You have to be familiar with laptop disassembly, otherwise don't try that. Main solution for all Windows versions and both GPT and MPR systems. Open command prompt. Type BCD edit and hit enter to show the BCD or boot configuration data. There is a difference between GPT and MPR systems as shown, but it will not affect the results when using this method. Determine in which partition you have Windows installed for most device data. In my case, the D is the Windows partition, but in your computer it may be another letter. Type BCD boot D colon backslash Windows. Replace D, with the letter of Windows partition in your computer. As you can see, the boot files successfully created. 
Let's see what will happen when selecting a wrong letter for Windows. I will type bcd boot c colon backslash windows. It returns the following error message. Failure when attempting to copy boot files. Now, close the CMD. Click on continue option to boot into Windows 10 operating system. Disconnect the USB flash card or the DVD from your laptop if booting from one of them. You may get a blue screen error saying that your PC couldn't start properly. After multiple tries, the operating system on your PC failed to start, so it needs to be repaired. Error code, 0xc000001. Just press enter key from keyboard to continue. The first boot may take longer time than usual, so be patient. BCD boot tool can fix boot issues in Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows Server 2016 Technical Preview, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2008 R2, or Windows Server 2008. As you can see, the Windows started without issue. Also all files and installed apps will not be lost after applying this method. Extra Methods How to determine the type of disk scheme whether is a GPT or an MPR. Open Command Prompt Type Disk Part and hit Enter to open Disk Manager. Type List Disk and hit Enter. If you have asterisk under GPT column next to the disk number 0, then your disk scheme is GPT. If there is no asterisk, then you have an MPR disk scheme. After knowing the type of disk, let's see whether the boot partition is available and configured properly or not. Type cell disk 0 to select disk number 0, because there is only one disk in both systems shown, I will choose disk number 0, but if you have more than one disk installed in your computer, choose the disk that contains the Windows system you want to repair based on the disk size. Type list vol to show available volumes. You can know which volume is the boot partition and which one is Windows partition as followings. The boot partition usually has a size of 500 megabytes or less, has a FAT32 file format in GPT disks or NTFS in MPR disk, most often its label is system or reserved in MPR or has a hidden lapel in GPT disk. Windows partition usually has a size of 20 GB or more and it takes the C or D letters. In my case the boot partition is volume number 1 with NTFS format in the MPR based system, and volume number 3 with FAT32 format in the GPT based system. Also it has the C letter in MPR, while in GPT it has no letter assigned to it. In rare cases, Windows partition lost the assigned letter and will appear with empty entry under the LTR column. In this case, you have to assign the letter that you have seen from BCD edit data or assign the C or D letters if not assigned to other partitions as followings. Select the Windows partition using this command. Cell vol 1. Assign the C letter using this command. Assign letter C. You can check if the letter is set in BCD data or not using BCD edit command. Now let's see the differences between GPT and MPR systems which will help you to know whether the error source is from the BCD or from the Windows bootloader files. To show BCD data, type exit to close disk part. Type BCD edit and hit enter to show the BCD or boot configuration data. In BIOS boot or MPR based system, the boot manager called boot MGR and its path is, system drive backslash boot MGR. In GPT or UEFI based system, the boot manager called boot MGFW.EFI and its path is, backslash EFI backslash Microsoft backslash boot backslash boot MGFW.EFI. The boot manager is stored in separated partition called system reserved partition for both GPT and MPR disks. Also the Windows loader called winload.exe in MPR based system and winload.efi in GPT or UEFI based system, however, the Windows NTOS kernel is called entiscernel.exe in both GPT and MPR. The path for both Windows loader and kernel files is same which is system root backslash system32 folder. Rebuild BCD in MPR based systems. Also it works for GPT systems. Open command prompt. Type bootrec slash rebuild bcd and hit enter. Type bootrec slash fix mbr and hit enter. Type bootrec slash fix boot and hit enter. If you received access is denied error message, execute the following command to fix that. Bootsect slash nt60sys. Execute bootrec slash fix boot command again to fix windows boot issue. Close command prompt. Click on continue button to restart your computer into windows operating system. Rebuild BCD manually in MPR based systems. Open command prompt. Type bootrec slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. 
Make a backup copy for old BCD file using the following command. BCD edit slash export C colon backslash BCD backup. You can replace the C with another letter to save the BCD backup to another partition without problem. Type the following command to remove the hidden, system attributes, and read only properties from the BCD file. Attrib C colon backslash boot backslash BCD HSR. Replace C with the letter of your boot partition and not Windows partition. If you received an error message saying that path not found C backslash boot, that means you have selected a wrong boot partition or your disk table is GPT and not MPR. Back to step number 4.1 to see how to know whether you have a GPT or MPR disk and to step number 4.2 to learn how to detect the boot partition. Rename or delete the old BCD file using one of the following commands but not both. Ren C colon backslash boot backslash BCD BCD dot old. Or. Del C colon backslash boot backslash BCD. Type Botrex slash rebuild BCD and hit enter. Type yes or y and hit enter to add the Windows installation configuration to boot list. Close command prompt. Click on continue button to restart your computer into Windows operating system. Enable or disable options in startup settings. Open advanced recovery options. Click on startup settings option. Click on restart button. Try one of the following options by pressing on corresponding F key from keyboard. Disable automatics restart after failure. Disable early launch anti-malware protection. You can also disable driver's signature enforcement option to see if the problem is related to the newly installed driver, but you should avoid manual installation of drivers in the future unless you enable this option again, because if you install an incompatible driver it could damage your operating system or cause other problems. Rebuild BCD manually in GPT or UEFI systems. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list disk command to show available disks. Select your boot drive using this command. Show available partitions using this command. Select the boot partition using this command. Assign the V letter to the boot partition using this command. Close disk part using this command. Open V partition using this command. Format the boot partition using this command. Format V slash FS FAT32. Type Y and hit enter to confirm if you asked for that. If you have a Windows 10 with build number older than 1709, so add the following command lines one by one and hit enter after each command. If you have a Windows 10 build 1709 or newer, use the following command line only to complete boot fixing process. Also you can try this command if the previous four commands failed with older Windows builds or versions. Close command prompt. Restart your laptop to see if the issue was fixed or not. Using other tools to fix system and disk issues. Check and fix disk errors using disk checker tool. Type the shown command and hit enter. Replace C with the letter of your Windows partition. Use DISM tool to check and fix system errors. First, you have to determine the letters of both Windows partition and Windows installation DVD or USB. Type BCD edit and hit enter. In my case, the C is assigned for Windows partition. Type disk part and hit enter. Type list vol and hit enter. In my case, the E is assigned for Windows installation DVD. Now, type exit and hit enter to close disk part. Type the following command and hit enter. DISM slash online slash cleanup image slash restore health. If you are booting from USB or DVD, you will receive error message saying that DISM does not support servicing Windows PE with the slash online option. To fix that execute the following command instead. DISM slash image C colon backslash slash cleanup image slash restore health. Replace C with the letter of your Windows partition. Also, you can add the Windows installation media as the source for the repair files as in the shown command. To fix scratch disk errors in previous two commands, type MDC colon backslash scratch to create a scratch folder inside Windows partition if it has enough free space, then add the following entry after previous DISM commands lines as shown. Use System Fails Checker or SFC to check and fix system errors. Type SFC slash Scano and hit enter. You may need to recreate boot configuration data again before restarting computer using the following command. BCD boot C colon backslash Windows. Important notes. Sometimes the issue may appear after BIOS update or after changing BIOS settings. If you think the error is related to BIOS settings, watch how to fix that from the links in video description. You have to read the video description and comments to see if there are any additions or modifications to any method. If you get one or more new error message after applying any solution, it may indicate that there is hardware source for your issue. If you need help, 
Don't hesitate to add your question in a comment and we will do our best to help you. If you liked the video, please leave a comment and subscribe to encourage us publishing more similar videos.